all right guys welcome to another master defense video we're mid game right here second period these sixes games are pretty long that's why i kind of started it a little bit later but we're doing sixes i'm playing as a right d now and we're just going to be going over some things that uh you know you should keep in mind in the sixes game that it's a little bit different from threes right it's not identical but i wouldn't say it's that much different um you just have to understand where you have to be who you should be covering the tendencies of some of these teams and uh like that right there you got a lot more shots from the point right you don't typically see that too much in threes where you have to stick tie them um obviously when it comes to that in the middle of the slot that should be more of the center helping you out on that uh you could also help with that but obviously if you have a one t uh man open which is what these guys are also looking for they have a one t right there option both sides and they have it at the right d spot at the point so in this case, right, you would want to have more of a tight point type coverage. Um, kind of let everybody, you know, cover a man and then cover their zone, help each other out a little bit. But it's uh, going to be more of a tight coverage type uh, stuff when it comes to teams like this that have those types of looks. Because one T is definitely powerful. I'm going to send this one on. Looking for a rebound. Almost had it. Goalie sprawling. Still scrambled in front. Still can't get it, but now it's a quick transition for them. We have to kind of get on them quickly. And look at the give and goes. Try to get that. They're going to rotate back. That's the kind of stuff that happens there. Quick transition when you send everybody in. We're going to have to, we're gonna poke check that. He was the furthest man up. All right, didn't really have centerman help right there. There's the pass. And now you just kind of work at the point. So here you just let your fours do the thing. All right there's a lot more tips right when it comes to like sixes offensive zone keeping the triangle all right the point guys are just kind of looking to be an option to support from the point of passes were to be made for open areas for shots things like that so have red coming in low shot looking at it at the point might get it might not there's the shot nice play and then we're just kind of here shot on a weird angle and now we start marking because these teams as soon as they start getting that puck they're going to be looking right to directly attack you with the quick transition now we have pressure so now we here we go go with the rebounds want to try to keep this in if we can quick transition back up might try to send this one on i'm gonna shoot myself work back at the point now we have a, a, a switch right there score so we had to quickly went back into the zone right and then we had a rotation so for some reason right we had green playing my spot and uh which you know that can happen with the quick transition everybody's kind of all in their own spots right but we got it quickly back into the zone worked it down low worked it back at the point had net front presence we're able to send it on and get a rebound or uh get a deflection and a, and a score so that was good use of the full pressure the only thing there when it comes to it uh i don't really agree too much with the full pressure with it being in the game we'll take a shot here maybe i could have shot a left he went between the legs and almost had it there and then here we go so we mark right so when usually when that happens you want to try to give yourself as much space and time as you can uh really pressure the guys when they're trying to receive that breakout pass so i'm pretty much putting myself in front of them if i can so there we go again he kind of angled myself there that pass went through i would have been there to at least attack him try to keep the puck in if you can Want to try to keep it right so here we go again he's trying to just get it out of the zone we go back in and unfortunately we could not bounce off a skate which you know that that does happen you just kind of play on so now five seconds left there's the shot on We're looking for the rebound want to get in his way they send it down they got it that was unfortunate i couldn't get that rebound that was too far out in front of me. I tried poke check and missed it. He was able to find a backdoor feed after that. As I turned, I tried poke checking again. But then uh, that was the pass that, 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 that was made across. So that's where, you know, if you're playing man-to-man -man on your guy without the puck, you want to try to keep inside levers uh, and be able to intercept that puck. Unfortunately, we could not do that. It was one of those things, right? Shot was taken. Tried poke checking. Missed it, right? He beat me to it. But then you kind of want to try to work back to the inside again to poke. So I did poke, but I just missed it. We had two guys there as well. Unfortunate, uh, we didn't have proper coverage here. Inside leverage was compromised. And there was the easy uh, backdoor feed, right? So center tried helping me out as well to try to get that puck. Kind of collided with each other. Maybe that's what interfered on the poke check. But uh, overall, 
just got to play on. Things like that can happen. Bounces, right? You just want to be able to put yourself in the best spot to uh, be able to, you know, maintain that puck. So let's get a little pressure here. I'm going to take it myself. Look for a pass that can be made. We'll work it down low, right? The reason I couldn't send a pass to anybody was because there was no speed going into that zone. We'll throw this on. Didn't have to. Could have sent it down low, right? There, there's options. You could choose to send it. Want to be mindful of any uh, guys trying to block your shot. If you lose it at the point, especially in the Sixers game, it's not the best thing. So we definitely want to close off that guy to try to short side rapid or make a pass. Quick transition. Nice passing. That was a good quick transition, right? Find the center. Find the left winger. Backdoor feed. So good stuff right there. All starts with being able to manage, you know, the break in, manage the transition, things like that. So puck possession in a sixes game, just as important as it is in threes as well. Being able to, you know, maintain the puck and proper lanes and things like that. So there's a shot on, good save. Try to take it himself, didn't have a backdoor feed available. So there's definitely a couple things you could do at the point, right? When you get the puck, quickly send it off. Try to control a little bit to buy some time. You want to close this guy off from the outside. He works it back to the point. Couldn't handle that puck. So now we trap. Trap the blue line. So you got blue, right? Essentially covering boards. Center was in the center lane, covering center. And then I take any inside lane route. So you'll eventually see there's the cut, right? By the way, the winger, you guys saw him cut from the outside and in. Teal doing, doing his work there. And now we start helping, helping each other out. So I had a lane went offside but that is essentially right what what can happen they he didn't have you, you want to try to give three options if you can right a, a chance for me to jump up nobody on the right side there's no point staying down low right just kind of uh letting that that lane be unoccupied right you want to cover all lanes and sometimes you know if you're a defense and you can jump up make sure there's a rotation but that usually happens we'll hold this blue line here Try to find it in front. So again, close them off. That was a body check. As much as you can. Now just be mindful where he's at. There he is. So he's back on my screen. And cover the inside. Made a cut there. Teal was there to occupy it. I might chop this. Might have been the wrong, wrong decision to chop. Teal works it up. So it greens up. So that's why I'm kind of staying passive here. All the lanes were kind of covered. We're occupied. So now quick transition. Here we go work it find the guy that's cutting see where he's at now there's a high 1t slot available or spot available should i say quickly send it up they got three guys in deep or two guys deep there's blue shot there's the rebound all right so breakout wise you know you can have a little bit of control when it comes to that if they have five guys trapping there's no need for you to send it up very quick if they're four checking obviously you're gonna have to try to find a quick passing lane as soon as you get it because they're going to be closing in on you and it could create an, ob an uh, odd man rush opportunity for your team if you do happen to get that uh, that pass through so something to keep in mind is you are essentially the quarterback on your team go check by teal works it in front heck support there now we start skating find a passing lane ah that's a that's definitely the bad pass on me i saw a green pulled up Maybe I was going to try to find a lane there. I'm going to step up a little bit here. Create maybe an opportunity to draw them to me. Red finds a lane there. We'll work it back to blue. Back at the point. There's Teal with a drive. Doesn't get through. Bounces now to red. Now we step up here again. Going to help him provide a 1T opportunity. There's the cut there by green. Nice play. Shot. Looking for rebounds. And now we start marking. So he's pretty much at full speed. All right. You want to try to put your back. You don't want to always poke check when they're skating basically at full speed or near it uh towards you because you can poke they can get it back and then you're burned because you are essentially back skating and stopping while they're still continuing at full speed so that's why i didn't choose to and we have a fight here <laughs> that's why i didn't choose to uh try to poke check while i was back skating it was at full speed there gonna knock there off the is. rust though so here it is there it, there is. it is baby oh, oh shit. no he knows how to get out oh He's seen the videos. He's watched your film. Oh. What the hell was that animation? 
Oh, oh got him in, got oh, him oh, again, oh, got him oh. again. Oh. Oh. Hold him, hold him for a while. You can, I'm pretty sure you can. The refs will call it. Oh. He's not going down. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, he's got I, infinite, I, infinite health. Wow. This, this guy have his fighting now? What the, what the hell? And then you guys are just like, yeah, we're done. So we got a fight. <laughs> so now we have an AI to finish off the game, pretty much. Um, unless this goes OT. Let's we'll see what happens. So you saw I'm putting myself to him, trying to limit his opportunity of getting that puck from the open lane. And there it is. So a lot of like being able to defend score. Nice. Shot at the point for a deflection. Good play. So a lot of what you do at the point, right? When you're covering somebody and they're like, they're trying to receive a pass. If you can put your body physically in front of them to where he cannot skate or handle a puck, you're doing your job as a defenseman because you're giving yourself the best possible chance at getting that puck or at least disrupting it, having it knocked to some other place other than his stick, right? A lot of guys try to create so much space or they try post him from a weird angle and they're not able to get it. And then they wonder why they're unable to or why they're missing plays, why the puck is still going to the guy or whatever so here we go again i'm gonna put my body to him and even if i don't get it i'm still in his way i'm poke checking i'm poke checking i'm keeping to the perimeter he's not gonna get to my inside nice he makes the pass feels there right so you're not always gonna get the puck every time but if you're able to at least put yourself in front of him and keep the inside leverage of your opponent right then you're doing your job as a defenseman you can give yourself the best possible chance there's another interception there again find the cut there for green there it is now he's in the zone right could have marked it around the net move the puck quickly but you're providing him a lane into the zone and there it is and that's pretty much sixes in a nutshell we'll keep doing more of these as we uh you know continue on i'll try to push a lot of these games if they if they look good enough this one's a really good one a, re a really good rep and yeah just let me know what you guys think this is sixes playing defense mastering defense if you found this helpful please like the video subscribe if you're new i'll catch you guys next time